So we heard too much things about this dump truck, but I want to learn straight from the general sales manager of Live Here, Derek. Thank you, Derek, for hosting us to our yes. place, your place. My pleasure. We would like to to speak about this dump truck. Uh, I want to know everything about this. Uh, it's a brand new model, yeah. so it's your time to describe us what are we going to see today. Perfect. Thank you very much. So this here behind me is the Liebherr 274 mining truck. It has four unique features that I'd like to cover with you today. First and foremost, uh, it's really big. It is carries 305 metric tons or 336 short tons payload capacity. The unique thing with our trucks is they are diesel electric. So they run with a diesel engine motor that produces about 3,600 horsepower, which is a Liebherr engine. And then the drive system is an electric drive system which basically moves these large motors in the back and moves the truck back and forth. And the first feature of that is the size and payload of the truck and the fact that it is fully equipped with the Liebherr drive system being Liebherr engine and Liebherr electric drive system in the back, which is AC drive. The second unique feature is that this truck here can run on something we call trolley. So moving forward with 2030 plans to lower as much greenhouse gas emissions as possible, with this trolley feature and the fact that it is an electric drive truck, we can use that overhead line to basically power the electric drive system and the electric motors in the rear, which bypasses the diesel engine and allows the truck to run uphill faster, but also greener. So that when that happens, the actual diesel engine will actually go down to idle. And in certain circumstances, we've seen customers lower their diesel consumption and their greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80%, which is a huge factor. And we have that today, and that's a technology available from Liebherr. The second thing I'd like to speak about is moving forward, this truck is also autonomous, which means that it can run without an operator in the cab. It can basically function, maneuver in a mine site independently without an operator being inside the cab. So for those areas that have uh, difficult access to people and operators to move the machines, the machines have the technology to drive themselves. Also, my last point that I'd like to share with you is in between having an operator in the cab and fully autonomous where we completely remove the operator, we have these features called semi-autonomous features. And the first feature is almost like auto parking in some automotive vehicles today where if you want to parallel park, you can press a button and the car will automatically park. We have the same features for this truck. It utilizes the trolley system and basically backing into a dumping area where the operator can basically take their hands off the wheel and the truck will maneuver itself into place. Same thing with the trolley, it'll automatically find the position it needs to be in, it'll connect to the overhead lines, and it'll drive the truck up that hill. So those are four things that this Liebherr product, large Liebherr truck, uh, brings to the market today. So, that was a great description. Everyone knows Liebherr. Uh, Liebherr is a worldwide uh, lifting company. As I hear you, I understand that making uh, operators' life easiest, yes. make operators' uh, work easiest. Could we have the opportunity to go upstairs? Yes, but for sure. Okay. And we can show you that, some more features. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very much. That's yeah. great. So Mega Machine Channel is the first one that uh, will be upstairs. Derek, how many stairs are we going to step? So it's about 20 stairs to climb to the okay. top of our house. So okay. we can go inside it's the quite cabin. High. Yeah. It's quite high. Okay. <laughs> so follow me. Yes. So now we are up on our second story of our house here. So this is where the operator will drive the equipment. Um, up here we have some different boxes and different things. A cabin looks familiar. We usually have those on trucks, excavators, and dozers. All of these big boxes you can see here are helping the trolley system basically bring power from the overhead lines down into the control cabinet. So it's a Liebherr drive system, the Liebherr Electronic Plus, which is AC drive. That'll basically bring the power to the electric motors in the rear to turn the tires. And then over to my left, 
we have a big box here, which basically creates heat in the exhaust get, uh, exhaust heat in the form off the truck when it's doing braking. So a lot of electrical components up here. Then we have our mirrors like you have on a car. They're just slightly bigger. And then if you're following me over to the cab, we can take a look inside. It should be open. Come this way, come this way. There's no power. Oh my God. So just like your car. So <laughs> we have two seats. Um, we have a steering wheel. We can live here, right? Yes, easy. We can drive, we can have lunch here. We can basically go to the mall if we want to. Um, uh, steering wheel, you have your shift selector like you do in your car, forward, reverse, neutral. And then you basically have uh, two pedals, one for going forward, your brake and reverse. Then you have a braking pedal. And then you just have an emergency braking pedal just in case. But other than that, it's just like your car, speedometer, tachometer, a couple lights to let you know things aren't going well, keys. And then in the instance when we have autonomy, there's nobody in here. Okay. And then the steering wheel does its own thing by itself. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about uh, the smart functions that uh, someone can meet here. So the, the trucks, um, for safety reasons, obviously it's the size of the house. Um, it'll be equipped with cameras off on the front of the truck and then off the rear of the truck. So on this big display that's here, when the operator gets in the cabin, before they move or do anything, they can see if it's safe to proceed around the truck. Also, with the radars and lidars that are equipped on the truck, it'll give the truck a 360 degree view around okay. it, almost like a safety bubble. So it can basically send warnings to the operator in case they can't see any, something off to the side. If there's a service truck or a person, it'll give them a visual and audible alarm in the cab. Also, um, for safety of the operator, these trucks are run 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Exactly. They'll have a fatigue system in them, which basically can monitor the operator's eye movements and head movements and give them audible alarms and, and visual alarms, and then also send that information back to a dispatch area that'll let somebody else know that, hey, maybe it's time for you to take a break. I can see that you are fatigued, and That's so we're great. trying to keep the operator safe by knowing where they are, but then keeping them safe in regards to their health and their safety of being comfortable and being okay and have to operate the equipment. That's perfect. Uh, we spoke about the specifications, drive without driver. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. So basically the cab will not change because at certain points we will want an operator to bring the truck into a maintenance shop to be repaired or take it to some other area where the autonomous may not be. Um, in the autonomy world, you won't really see anything different on the truck other than the radars, cameras, and stereo vision uh, cameras that are on the truck. It'll basically look like a normal truck. There just won't be any operator in the cabin. And the truck will basically receive signals from the cloud, um, from a virtual mine site, and it'll know how many pieces of equipment are in that mine site. It'll know where it is in the mine site and it'll be able to interact and go from point A to point B, which is in this world just amazing that a house or multiple houses can drive around without people in it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, I decided to buy it because I decided to live here. <laughs> don't buy it if you don't decide to live here. Derek, Perfect. thank you very yeah. much. No, appreciate it. You are really a pro. Yeah. Thank uh, you for your The machinery in is wonderful. The machinery is incredible. Yeah. Thank you very much for your guide. Yeah. My pleasure. Bye. Mega Massive Channel.